Hello, this is my video. That really sucks on uh, controlling your computer with your iPod, which is pretty sweet. This is 16 gigabyte uh, iPod Touch 2.2. New update. I don't think that really matters. Jailbroken. Um, doesn't not really necessary, but I just want to spend twenty five dollars getting this program. Yeah, I would jailbreak it. Anyways, um, so you have to get the program JDU. I'll put it in the description. This picture is really bad, so you can't tell what it says. But it's JDU. J A A D U. Uh, JDU VNC. And this is for Windows Vista. You go to this link, I'll put it in the description as well. Uh, type VNC.com, download, whatever. And if if you're going Windows, you won't get this one. Otherwise, and with the other crap, do that. The bold one on top. So you just click that. You downloaded. I already downloaded, so I'm not going to. But it's pretty simple. You just hit save and put it wherever you want. And you get that. And then uh, you go to the folder and run it um... oh, right there um... right there and just double click that and I'm not going to do that because I already have it so it's pretty easy to run uh... you set up whatever custom I would just if you're unsure, leave it checked. I don't think it gives you any crap you don't want. So there's that. And then uh, when you install it, it will come up under all programs. Go to Tight VNC and then launch Tight VNC server. Oh. Okay. Go to Launch Tight VNC server. And then this should come up right away. And it says all this stuff. This is the only thing you will mess with right here. Uh, primary password. Um, leave everything else checked and okay and whatever. Primary password, you can type in whatever you want. Put the same thing in both ones. And then hit okay. Um, oh, whatever, um, and eight characters maximum, I guess. Uh, and then you have that down there. Down at the taskbar, it'll disappear if you hit OK. And then you go to your iPod, and, wow, it's horrible, and you go to JDU, and open it up, um, yeah, you open up and then just do new. Then name, you just put whatever you. Yeah, right there. The little plus key. No, not that. Oh boy. Okay, so just go. The little plus key. Uh, name is just whatever you want to call it. Address. Um, that's your IP address. If you need help with that, I'll show you in a second. Password is a password you just put up there. And computer would be either Mac or Windows, depending if you have Mac or Windows. No way. Advanced, uh, it's basically nothing. But make sure that your port is on 5900. Because that's which one is open. Um, and if you want lots of, lots of colors, then put it more. Otherwise, hundreds is okay, thousands is fine. And millions is like perfect, but it goes very slow. So, and then I would recommend fast refresh. Otherwise, it's gonna take forever to do everything, unless you're doing something really easy. So then you go back and just hit connect. So that's I'm just gonna connect to this. 
and this should appear. Uh, if you typed everything in right, there you go. And then not touching anything. Okay. Uh, not currently working, but I will. It works. In case you're wondering, it does. There's. This is what the screen looks like. Um, I don't know, it's messed up right now, but all you do is go through there, and up here, you can't see, but you'll see it when you actually have your iPod, is keyboard pops up, which is nice, um, those are your like arrow keys, you scroll, and you can do all the kind of commands like that, there's, uh, control, shift, alt, and then this thing, you can do other weird stuff. Oh, rotation lock is so that it doesn't spin on you. Um, X's. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you.